When I decided I wanted to go on a solo motorcycle road trip, camping my way up the California coast, the one thing I knew, even then, was that I had absolutely no idea what I was getting myself into. I didn't plan it out at all. From the time I decided I was going to do this to the time I turned the key was less than a week. I didn't know what route I was taking or where I'd stay. I didn't have the right supplies. I didn't even know the last time my bike had been serviced. But I didn't care. I guess you could say that was the whole point. I was looking for adventure. Nothing too dramatic, but I wanted to test myself. I wanted to get lost and find my way again. I wanted to battle the elements and come out on top. I wanted to meet the unexpected head on and just figure it out. And what better place than California to do it? In the space of 48 hours, I felt the bitter cold of a cloudy morning and the sweltering heat of the midday sun. Saw the rocky California coastline along the Pacific and the towering forested mountains overlooking the San Francisco Bay. I pulled long hauls down the Central Valley and carved ribbons through the northern redwoods. I rode one of the most famous roads on the planet and saw firsthand that its reputation doesn't even do it justice. There were some tough breaks, and some of them were my own stupid fault. I mean, look at this idiot. Come on. Come on! The repeat eye injury really was a problem. I didn't want to admit it at the time, but it was a dangerous situation, and in retrospect, I handled it pretty badly. On the other hand, you can bet I'll never make that mistake again. But the worst and scariest part of the trip was by far the flat. I've never lost a tire on my bike before, and rocketing down the five full tilt was not the best way to experience it. But I handled it, and everything turned out alright. I called in the cavalry, and some good people went above and beyond to make sure I could still make it home. My GPS let me down a couple of times. Road and traffic conditions were sketchy in more than a few places. And then even when things seemed to be going nice and smooth, my camera equipment would go berserk just to remind me that nothing about a motorcycle road trip is easy. So it wasn't all fun and games, but I didn't expect it to be, and it wasn't supposed to be. I still had an absolute blast. I would never have discovered the most delicious pastrami place in Santa Barbara if I hadn't stopped to visit a friend there. I'd never have seen the Golden Gate Bridge at sunset if I'd been on time to San Francisco. If I had taken the quick route north instead of the coast, I would never have found sea lions. Or a lighthouse. Or some of the biggest, most beautiful trees I've ever seen in my life. So what did I learn from all this? I can't really look you in the eye and tell you I'm a new man or anything as dramatic as that, but I did learn a lot about myself. Where are my limits? How do I handle tough situations? Can I handle tough situations? Can I endure a little adversity in exchange for one of the most rewarding experiences of my life? I guess it turns out that I can. Most importantly, I learned a little more about what makes me tick. That much time alone on the road leaves you without much to do but think. Think about where you're coming from, where you are, and where you're going. What you've seen, what you do see around you, and what you hope to see down the line, both on the road and in your life. I learned that adventure is a mirror for the soul, and it's about time I had a look. <laughs>